In this video, I'm going to show you how I updated this old bathroom mirror by building a custom industrial farmhouse mirror frame. Let's get started. Before we begin building the frame, let's check out what tools we'll need. We're going to need a tape measure, a screwdriver, a drill, and some drill bits. Also grab a marking pencil and some Fuse It by Liquid Nails. Gorilla Glue and other brands work great, but I found this particular Fuse It brand to be the best as it dries fast and sticks to glass. Also pick up some two and a half inch Everbuilt flat corner braces. You'll need a total of four braces and I got this set for about $2. You'll also need some black spray paint. I got this hammered texture from Rust-Oleum to give the metal a more rustic look. To get the right length of wood, you'll need to measure the mirror horizontally and vertically, then add an inch to each side. So if your mirror is 36 inches tall, add an extra inch to that. I went with some 1x4 pressure treated lumber. My mirror is 3x5, so I needed over 16 feet. A quick tip, if you're nice to the Home Depot guy, he'll cut the lumber for you if you don't have a truck. If you can't find anyone to cut it for you, you can also buy pre-cut lumber like this. Make sure to buy enough to include the extra inch on your measurement. Once you have your wood, take a miter saw and cut a 45 degree angle on the edge. These 45 degree angles are going to be used for the corners. Cut the same angle on each end in the opposite direction. With the cuts made, line out the boards and make sure that everything lines up correctly. Everything looks good, so let's go to the working garage and stain it. I first recommend throwing down some plastic or some newspaper. Grab the boards and you'll need to start sanding them. I started with a 220 grit sander as the wood was already very smooth. Make sure to sand all surface areas, including the edges and end pieces, and even the side that won't be showing. I did come across several flaws in the wood and ended up using a heavier grit sandpaper. A heavier grain sandpaper like this does a better job at smoothing out rough areas. The heavier grit worked especially well around the knots in the wood. Once it's all sanded, you'll want to clean it off by using a towel or an air gun. Make sure it's very clean and you're good to start staining. I went with this Ferrothane Jocko Bean stain. Quick tip, always label the stain to the project. This allowed me to match the color from the towel rack video. To apply the stain, use a lint-free flour sack cloth. You can also use an old t-shirt, just make sure it's clean and lint-free. To apply the stain, soak up the cloth and apply in the same direction as the grain. The more stain you use, the darker the wood will be. Let the ends soak up like a sponge and it will avoid tearing up the cloth. Just like when we sanded, make sure to get all surface areas of the wood. I ended up going with about two coats to get a darker look. Once the color was right, I set it aside to dry. Next up is to spray paint the flat corner braces and screws. Oh, hi, baby. To apply the paint, line up the braces on the floor, then use the spray paint and evenly apply a coat. Make sure to get the end of the screws as well. Avoid spraying the threaded portion as it can make it difficult to screw in. Also avoid spraying your wedding ring as it's hard to clean off the paint. The hammered spray paint dries very quickly, but looks great. The textured layer of paint adds a worn look to the brace. Now a quick lesson learned, avoid spraying small things like nails on plastic as the wind blew the plastic over and I had to apply an extra coat of paint. Spraying on scrap wood or paper is much better. Alright, with the wood stained, we're now able to put up the frame. Quick tip, we're working with small screws so make sure to close the drain. These plastic braces stick out too far so I need to remove them. If your mirror's not glued to the wall, be ready to catch it if it falls when you take these out. We're actually going to put new screws in, but this time into the studs to give more support to the mirror. I found that using a lock washer like this helped the screw fit more flush against the mirror. Using a grabber screw, I drill into the stud, but go very slow when I get to the end. Another look, you can see that the lock washer fits much more cleanly at the end of the screw. Test that the mirror is sturdy and we can put on the frame. When I filmed this, I used this version of Liquid Nails. However, the quick dry fuse it version I showed earlier is much better. This took too long to dry. When you apply the glue, go in a wave pattern and only go about two thirds the width of the wood. I was overly cautious starting out and ended up putting on a little more glue than shown here. 
but make sure you put the glue an inch down from the visible edge of the mirror or else it will be reflected in the mirror glass when you put it on. That's why I recommend applying glue only about two thirds or three fourths the width of the wood. Be careful not to apply too much glue in the angled corners as it can be reflected there as well. I applied pressure to the bottom piece until it was firm, then put on the right, left, and top sides. I had to hold each piece until the glue was dry enough that the wood stayed firm. Switching to Fusic glue made it go much faster. Final step is to put on the flat braces. I use a 764 bit to pre-drill the holes. Wait till the glue is dry enough before applying the screws. I finish the brackets on all sides. And you're done. The frame looks fantastic. I love how there's minor flaws in the wood as it gives it a very rustic feel. I was surprised the most at how strongly the glue held the wood. The frame is very sturdy and doesn't move at all. In the reflection you can see how well it matches the towel rack we previously built, and the two complement each other very well. It's amazing to see how something as simple as a mirror frame transformed the look of this room, especially as the project costs less than $24. This mirror frame video is part of a bathroom update series with other videos that I'll have linked below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. What'd you say?